Let's talk about some of the beta glucans. What are they doing to the, your immune cells? I mean, I've seen some studies. They're helping to increase natural killer cells. They're, some of the triterpenes are deactivating viruses. What do you know based on your experience and your research you've done? What's it doing to your immune system? How is it helping your body? Well, these, uh, um, these beta glucans, we actually have receptors for mm -hmm. beta glucans and these receptors are down in our our uh lower intestines are uh they're down there and so what happens the beta glucans come down they will uh, they will lock into these receptor sites and then they will actually then uh potentiate or or essentially strengthen any immune response and create more immune cells like nk cells like macrophages like t cells so that's really where they uh, essentially are going to help boost our, our immunity. And, and what they're considered is they're, con they're considered a immune modulator. So they're basically sitting there, they're a potentiator. So, so they will essentially strengthen our immune response to whether it would be uh, viruses or bacteria, other fungi, they're there to essentially assist us. And, and, you know, the way I look at, at, that activity uh, is uh, preventive. I really see that as uh, something that is, is, you know, in fact, we can be taking them all the time and they're just sitting in the background helping us out as we're coping with all of these different stresses that come in, uh, whether it be from bacteria or whatever it is. Because in functional medicine, kind of where I'm practicing with my patients, we're testing their stress response. We're looking at their adrenals and their cortisol rhythm. And one of the herbs I've used, used clinically for a very long time are various adaptogenic herbs, like ashwagandha is one of my favorite right here. And it seems to me, based on some of the data, that some of these medicinal mushrooms are actually have an adaptogenic-like effect, whether it's buffering stress or buffering the immune response. What's your take on that? Oh, I think they're, they're in fact, considered to be adaptogens. And I would call mm -hmm. them premier adaptogens, especially something like reishi. I mean, absolutely. I mean, a, an adaptogen really is something that, that tries to keep us in homeostasis. Mm -hmm. it, it's like this whole thing of balance. And that's kind of how yes. I look at health is, is disease is us kind of going out of balance. Mm -hmm. And so what we're really trying to do is get back to that homeostasis, back to that state of balance. And, and uh, they're there to help us, although there may be other things involved, mm -hmm. of course, like, you know, health is not just that simple. But again, yeah, adaptogen is something that will help us to, to mitigate those stresses that we have, whatever they are, and bring us back into a, a state of balance. And I you know that, that to me is kind of like traditional Chinese medicine is all kind of based on that same principle there of balance. And so adaptogens are something that will help us maintain that balance, which essentially means being healthy. I mean, you know, think about it for a second. If you're healthy, do you ever think about your health? <laughs> you no, know, you're able like, to adapt. You have a certain level of adaptability. Yeah. Well, absolutely. and yeah. And, 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 and when you're sick, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, you know, you start thinking about your health and, and what you have to do to come back into that balance. But when you're healthy, you're just cruising around thinking, yeah, everything is great. It's wonderful. Yeah. 100%.